Hey everyone, this is Troy from TroyPoint.com. I want to show you something with the new updated IP Vanish app. I'm on my Fire TV Stick 4K Max. I'm going to go into the screen that displays all my apps. I'm going to launch IP Vanish. And I'm going to go into settings. And you're going to notice a new option available here, a VPN status indicator. It's going to be something very similar to VPN monitor dot where it's going to provide an overlay of some sort on the screen to let you know whether or not your VPN is currently connected. And this would work very well for devices such as the Fire TV stick or Android TV devices where the kill switch doesn't work with IP vanish. Now you'll notice if you click this, it wants you to open some settings that will allow drawing over other apps. But when we do that, nothing happens. Unfortunately, we can't manipulate those settings on a Fire TV stick. Now, this may work perfectly fine on some Android TV boxes, but unfortunately, Amazon does not allow us to manipulate those settings. But here's a workaround to get this going. The first thing we want to do is install a free application called Remote ADB. We need to issue some ADB commands to get this to work. So I'm going to launch the Downloader app. If you don't already have this, you can install this through the Amazon App Store. Or if you're on an Android TV device trying to get this to work, you can get this through Google Play Store. Downloader is a free application to install through those respective app stores. I'm going to move up. Put the cursor in the URL box, click the select button, and I'm going to type in 250931. Click go. That's going to open the Troy Point toolbox where we can download this free application. Now, once you're on this page, I strongly suggest marking this as a favorite so you can return to this in the future to download and install free applications not available within the Amazon App Store or Google Play. To mark this as a favorite within Downloader, all you need to do is hold down on the select button of your remote for a few seconds, click Add Current Page to Favorites, and then click Save. And then when you come back in the future, you will notice under Favorites, it will be listed on this page. You can click it and that will immediately open the Troy Point toolbox. You won't have to wait for the five second load screen. Okay, I'm gonna scroll down. I'm looking for Remote ADB app. Here it is, I'm gonna click Download. Move down, click Install. Okay, Remote ADB shell has been installed. I'm going to click Done. Click delete and then delete again. There's no need to leave those installation files on the device. I'm going to click my home button on my remote now. Now, before we launch this, we need to change one setting. Under settings, go into my Fire TV, developer options. Now, for some reason, you don't have a developer options menu item. Go into about. Highlight the name of your Fire TV device and click it seven times. This will enable developer options. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It says no need, you are already a developer. But if you haven't done that, it will say you are now a developer and it will be available here on the screen. Developer options. If this is currently set to off, you wanna highlight it, click the select button on your remote to turn it on. Okay, now I'm going to go back to the home screen, go into all applications, launch remote ADB, click OK. Okay, now you want to type in the following IP address, 127.0.0.0. One. Click next. You can leave this at 5555 and then click next. Click connect. 
click the check box that says always allow from this computer and then click OK. OK, now we can issue an ADB command to get this to work. You'll see the cursor blinking at the bottom of the screen. I'm going to click the select button on my remote and now I'm going to type in the command. OK, I've typed in the command and I'm going to post the command on the screen here. Go ahead and click the pause button, take a picture of this screen or write down this command. This is what you want to type in. Obviously, it's a pretty long string of characters and unfortunately not all of those can be seen within this keyboard and that's why I'm showing this on the screen. I'll also put this in the video description so you can reference it there too. Okay, I'm gonna click run, click the back button. Okay, it looks like it completed the command. Now let's go back into the IPVanish VPN application and see if this worked. Go back into VPN status indicator and now you will see we have access to this tool. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and turn it on. And you're going to see in the bottom right hand corner, a little dot has appeared. And then we can come into the transparency section. And we can adjust how bright we want that dot to be. And they have a nice preview area at the bottom there that gives you a good idea what that dot will look like. And then you can come in here, hide on connect, where you can make these two different settings, hide indicator when connected, or always show indicator. And that's a really nice feature because a lot of people will be annoyed with that dot at the bottom of their screen when they're trying to watch something. So if you click this, the dot will only appear when the VPN is not connected, so it will alert you. For now, I'm going to choose Always Show Indicator. Click the back button. I'm gonna go ahead and connect now. Okay, I'm currently connected. And you'll see once I'm connected, the dot turns into a solid gray dot. And that will stay present on the screen while you go into your various applications. And then if for some reason the VPN becomes disconnected, you'll notice here it'll change from a dark gray dot to a lighter colored dot. I think the IP Vanish developers intended for this dot to be green. However, it's just not working properly right now. Hopefully a future update will fix this. Now this is the first time that I've seen a VPN monitor feature built into the actual VPN like this. Very nice to see. Keep in mind if you are using a different VPN such as Surfshark VPN, you can always use VPN monitor dot and I do have a video tutorial for that as well and I will link to that in the video description. It's also important to point out that Surfshark is one of the few VPNs that comes with a working kill switch on Fire TV and Android TV devices so in reality you don't really need a VPN monitor app like this because the kill switch will protect you. Hopefully this video will help you IP vanish VPN users enable this feature on a Fire Stick or Android TV box where you're having problems drawing over applications. Guys, thank you very much for watching this video. Please be sure to hit the thumbs up button, subscribe to my channel, and click the bell icon to be notified when I drop new tutorials like this in the future. Have an awesome day, and thanks for following Troy Point.